Welcome back on the channel, VSD here, Valence Peace Tech. Happy Christmas to everybody celebrating Christmas. We are very close to the new year 2022, so yeah, probably the last video for the year. Who knows? But again, Samsung keep pushing updates and yeah, I'm on some holidays, so I decided to make this video for you guys. This time I'm going to focus on the One UI 4 clock. And here on my right hand side, I have my little helper, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Snapdragon Japanese version that actually runs on One UI 2.1. Yeah, what a pity. The Exynos version from S9 already got the One UI 3.0, but the Snapdragon guys out there, mm, yeah, bad luck. But guys, it is pretty much what also is used in terms of clocking One UI 3, so we're just gonna pretend this is One UI 3, very close. So here we have One UI 4, Android 12, the latest. Like the second real December update for me, actually the three, but yeah, Samsung pulled one off. So for me, that's the real second update. Let's focus on the clock. Now Samsung did a lot of updates guys, and I'm going to present to you all the new things you can find in the latest One UI clock for One UI 4. All right, so when you start the application, you're gonna see the same design we have here. All the alarms are off, off. You have the alarms here. You have the alarm down below, the work clock, stop, watcher, and timer. So they pretty, much look alike but the changes are there and yeah i'm going to now deep dive with you guys and show you all right so let's just first enter the first alarm all right from here you can set up the alarm it does work exactly the same way as in the previous version pretend it's one three zero you can give the alarm a name right and then guys you have alarm sound vibration and snooze all right so let's just first explore the change in the alarm sound and this was my cat by the way Gonna go into the alarm sound, okay? You can choose a ringtone. I think I need to open the door for my cat, so bear one moment. And you can already see, guys, besides here Spotify and ringtone, here, guys, we have Bixby, which you don't have here, but I'll come later to that. Let's go now inside ringtone, okay? And what you're going to immediately notice down below, right, we have read time aloud, which we have here, right? Read time and alarm loud, but also you have the option to gradually increase the volume, which actually, if you use this to wake up in the morning, maybe or may not be quite useful, but it's something new guys so here this is the first change I notice also if you go to snooze let's go also to snooze here you're going to choose from 5 to 30 minutes on the Android 12 but also have the option to set up a custom snooze interval here mm, no custom snooze and by the way you can go up to 60 minutes so 60 minutes of snooze definitely a bit weird but if you're into this then yeah you can just see 59 minutes of snooze three times all right so definitely something that you can do on the latest clock version and you cannot do here vibration patterns are the same so let's not compare them and now back on the main interface and on the main interface guys there are some new changes now let's click here the hamburger menu click the hamburger menu here see here just have delete alarm settings here you have the set bed time and wake up time which is actually quite new and in case you have been following what Samsung are doing this is one of the new things here keep your sleep on track get healthy asleep but going to bed and waking up the same day you can just set up your sleep schedule from here the time you go to bed 22 the time to wake up like 7 okay sleep time 9 hours then go to next once you have adjusted your bedtime settings guys you can also use the bedtime mode on the phone and by using this then the phone will go to grayscale it will mute your calls and alerts and also also all the other sounds during bedtime so in general my advice is if you are going to your bed don't use your phone but you know I'm very bad at this I, I yeah I use my phone so probably not the best guy to give this advice but yeah in case you go to bed and you can use the bedtime mode and maybe you're gonna get some healthier behavior from your phone and then you can set up the wake up alarm and you can also wake up with some smart devices so there are really a lot of things you can do with this and you don't have this here so this um, bedtime uh, and wake up time thing just don't exist here right but there are plenty of other things okay now for the sake of the test i'm gonna hit here the delete button guys so that we just even all things right so see the second other thing is you can sort things out. So you can just sort this by alarm order, which is the case here, right? But you can also go and you can sort by custom order. And in the custom order, guys, you can just click here. And yeah, I now can have this alarm to be the first one. Why not? Okay, see here, first alarm is this. And then the lowest alarm comes second. 
in case you're up to that. All right, so this is also changed here. Else you can just select here all and you'll delete this here, right? You can do the same. So in terms of deletion of the alarm, it's pretty much the same, but you have more options in terms of sorting and also setting this bedtime and wake up time. All right, let's go one more time inside the alarm. And something guys that actually is quite funny here, we pretty much have the same options. You can just see the calendar here, etc. But here guys, you have something called turn off during public holidays, which I don't know, doesn't really exist in the One UI 4. I don't know why, right? But turn off during public holidays, probably the setting. Right now it's missing from here, else it's one to one. All right, guys, now let's go back to work clock. Also, the widgets are different and I'm gonna show this later. Now go to stopwatch, pretty much the same design here. I don't know why you have the lab button. When you immediately press start, the lab button is going to appear here. So yeah, it's pretty much strange that they put it there. I just think it's a design element, else no major differences. And now we can go to timer it does pretty much work exactly the same way. If you go here, you're gonna be able to edit preset timers, which you can do from here. Okay, let's now explore the settings. All right, this is the clock settings. Short wait information. Okay, um, yeah, you, again, here we have far better integration with Bixby and also with Bixby routines, which I'm gonna show you next. The work clock, it's pretty much, guys, the same. But you have also this mini timer, which is a bit more convenient, which you don't see this in this application. So let me just show you guys, if I start the timer, okay, I've started the timer here, guys, and let me just show you, I'm gonna start a timer here, okay, and what will happen? Now I have here this mini timer, and this is very, very convenient, guys. You don't have this here in this version. Here you've seen sometimes Bixby here and there. This clock version has integration with the Bixby routines, and you can do things you were not able to do, even in the first version it was released for the One UI 4. Let me just show you, guys. I am now into my settings, I go to advanced features, and I can now enter the Bixby routines, Let's now try to add a new routine. I'm gonna click add routine. And of course, I'm gonna select the first condition. So I'm gonna choose a specific time. So let's just choose this one. Okay, 16.09 done. And if I reach this specific time, then I want something to happen. Of course, I have to click here. Then I can go to apps. And now guys, I can open an app. Like I can open an app or I can close an app. But this here, like the clock integration is new. So not only can I open an app, but then it can turn on my alarms, turn off my alarms. It can even start a timer or start stopwatch. So let's say I can select Spotify so that Spotify opens every day a 16.09 and it turns on alarm for like 10 minutes. I'm not sure, right, if this is really a nice use case, but you get the point. This integration here was missing even from the very first version of One UI 4 for the Android 12. I have now opened the widget sections on my S21 Ultra and also on the S9. And you can just see, guys, we have four widgets for the clock. Same here, right? First, it's pretty much the same. The analog clock, though, is a bit different. Do you notice a change? Yeah, let me just put it there and then maybe you see it. I'm going to put the analog here and I'm going to put the analog clock here, guys. And now let's just see what will happen, guys. Oops. Okay. It does show the same time, but yeah, here we have a third arrow, which is showing the seconds. Uh, this might be a bonus for some. And yeah, the dual clock looks a bit different. And we have also weather integration, so that's really it. Guys, this has been all the major differences between the latest clock from One Way 4, Android 12, and everything else, One Way 3, and etc. If you have liked the video, don't forget to really like the video. Subscribe for the channel, guys. If you want to ask something, please feel free to do this in the comments down below. Please also you and your families stay safe, guys. Have a happy new year and BST over and bye.